Hello everyone, uh, welcome to class. Uh, this is the online class at English N294, uh, a writing about literature course for the Advanced Common Curriculum at Loyola University, New Orleans. I'm Tim Welsh, uh, and I will be the instructor for this course. This is the first time I've taught online. It's also gonna be the first time I've taught this course, and the first time I've done little videos like this. With an online course, there's an awful lot of uh, written content, not just what you're gonna end up reading, but also uh, the way the class discussion is going to go through posts on uh, the Google website. Uh, I'm hoping that these videos break things up a little bit. Uh, my goal is to have one of these out a week, uh, deliver some content, a little bit of a lecture, which is another thing I don't tend to do that often if you've been in class with me before. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, right now I have a little PowerPoint that should introduce some of the course websites, uh, talk about some of the procedures, show you where to find the syllabus, uh, and introduce you to your first assignments. Video games and literature. Uh, in this slideshow, we're gonna talk about syllabus, uh, websites we're gonna be using during the class, uh, making an introduction on Google+, uh, your first discussion post, and your first reading assignment. So first thing, the syllabus, uh, where you can find it, it will be on Laura. Uh, there'll also be a link to it on the Google Plus community page, and there's also gonna be a link on the course website, and I'll show you those in a little bit. The course website and the community page are going to be the most up-to-date. Uh, I may not remember to change Laura's all the time, so uh, that's the best way to get the information. So what are you going to find there? Basic outline information about policies, uh, what the assignments are, uh, and so on. Uh, for more detailed information, you're going to want to go to the Google Drive, uh, where you're going to get the assignment prompts and things like that, and we'll talk about that soon. So what to do with the syllabus, uh, if you would, uh, look it over as soon as you can, uh, and if you have any questions about it, please post them uh, to Google Plus community page using the support category. So the syllabus, uh, some highlights uh, about the syllabus, the things that people generally want to know. Uh, there are going to be four types of assignments. Uh, your participation, uh, what we're calling posts, a comparative paper, and a critical paper. Okay, here's what the syllabus looks like. Uh, most of this uh, you'll, I'll let you read through on your own, uh, but here you'll be able to find the types of assignments down at the bottom. There will be eight weeks in the semester. Two of them are going to be marked out for workshop weeks, and the other six uh, you'll be expected to do 500 words in the participation category uh, per week. Uh, so what happens, what counts as participation is basically everything you do that's not a written assignment. So uh, responding to uh, my questions on Google+, responding to discussion questions posted by your classmates, uh, adding original posts, sharing content, whatever you happen to do, that's going to count towards participation. Posts are going to be a weekly post. You're going to do one each week that's not a workshop week. Uh, it's going to be between three and 400 words. And this is a, an opportunity for you to make a short argument about the reading uh, some of them I'm going to have a prompt for you, uh, basically telling you what uh, you should write, what kinds of things you should write, uh, but sometimes you're going to be on your own to come up with something for, your, uh, for yourself. Again, that's going to be uh, once a week, and those are going to be due on Fridays. And the back up here at the top, the comparative paper, uh, that's going to be your first major paper. It's going to be due at the beginning of week five. We're going to workshop it during week five, and then you're, you're going to turn in a second draft. That's going to be 750 words, uh, and you're simply asked to compare one of the course readings with one of the course video games. The critical paper will be the major paper for the course. Uh, that's going to be due at the beginning of week seven, the first draft. Uh, week eight, we're going to workshop it, and you'll turn in a revised draft at the end of the week, uh, and in total will be with a thousand words. Uh, that paper, the critical paper is going to ask you to expand one of your previous posts using a secondary source, using two secondary sources, and uh, making a claim about the relationship between video games and literature. So you can see here as well the materials, hopefully you get a chance to pick these up. Uh, Ian Bogus a slow year, uh, I'll show you how to get a hold of that uh, for next week. Uh, you can pretty much only pick it up from his website. Uh, the novel Ready Player One uh, by Ernest Klein. Uh, Gone Home uh, is a game that you can get on Steam. Uh, for, it's probably the easiest way to get it. Uh, same with Braid. Uh, and those will be, those are the three main games we're going to be playing. 
uh, of a collection of short stories and poems for you, and those will appear in Google Drive. Uh, next thing to think about, or the main thing you probably want to know about, is the weekly rhythm. I don't know what else to call it. Basically, this is how the weeks are going to run. Uh, on Mondays, I'm going to post a short lecture. On Tuesdays, you'll work on the assignments that I give you on Monday, uh, doing the readings, uh, doing whatever tasks you need to do. On Wednesday, uh, you'll post a discussion question. On Thursday, I'll do a wrap-up debrief about how things are going during the week. Uh, and then I'll also be doing Google Hangout hours. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about that later. On Friday, you'll submit your post. That's the 300-400 word argument. Uh, Saturday, you have nothing really assigned. Uh, and Sunday, you're going to finish your comments and also turn in any major assignments. That's the, the comparative paper and the critical paper. So uh, due date is probably the other thing you care about. Uh, you're going to have a question due every Wednesday by 10 p.m. Your post is going to be due every Friday by 10 p.m. Uh, your comments or your, your participation, uh, I'm going to tally them uh, starting at 10 p.m. on Sunday night. So everything you've done from the previous Sunday at 10 p.m. up to uh, that Sunday at 10 p.m. Uh, will all count towards that week's uh, total for participation. Uh, and then your major writing assignments are always going to be due on Sunday uh, by 10 p.m. on the appointed days. Uh, and you can see the specific days um, by going to the course website, which I'll show you momentarily. So course websites, uh, our course website is going to be uh, www.timothyjwalsh.com slash courses slash 14MN294. Uh, there you're going to find general course information. Uh, you'll, there's an about page that, that is most of the stuff that's still on the syllabus as well. Uh, there's a link to the syllabus and you'll also have a uh, schedule that details what's expected of you each day, basically Monday uh, through Sunday. Here's the course website. Uh, like I said, the front page here is basic information, uh, stuff you can pick up from the syllabus. Uh, the schedule is what you'll probably be most interested in. Uh, this information will be doubled again on the uh, Google Plus page. But if you're interested in seeing how things are going to go or what's, what's expected of you, uh, there's a rough sketch here, basically day by day uh, on the in the middle column here is, is going to be what I'm going to be doing in the right column what uh, I think you'll probably be doing. The next major site we're going to be using is Google Docs. Uh, this is where you're going to find uh, the course readings uh, broken out by week uh, along with any assignment prompts. It's where you're going to be uh, doing any collaborative writing projects or collaborative writing activities and also where you're going to turn in your work. Uh, we're going to use it to do peer review. Uh, we're going to be using it to do some annotation projects. Once you're signed into your Google account over here, you hit these nine squares. If you click on that, you can select Drive down here at the bottom. Drive is a cloud bit, uh, cloud storage service. It also has a suite of uh, Office programs, Office applications like uh, Microsoft Word. Well, it's similar to Microsoft Word, a writing program, a spreadsheet program, and so on. Uh, I'm going to be adding you all to this folder, 14MN294. Uh, there, uh, I'll have information broken out by week for you. Now, there's also a copy of the most important syllabus in there. Uh, so if you would click on week, week one, uh, in here I'll have uh, any assignment prompts for you, any readings I want you to do, uh, basically any all sorts of, any kinds of documents or supporting material, uh, lecture notes, uh, slideshows, and so on will all be broken out by week here. Uh, we'll also set up a place for you to turn in work uh, within each of the weekly folders. So if you have something due, uh, for example, you have something due in week five, one of your major papers, there'll be a place for you to turn in your week five paper so we can uh, get to revisions. And we'll talk about how revisions work later on. Uh, the next major website for you is going to be Google+, and that's going to be basically the hub of our site where we uh, conduct our discussion, where you can ask questions, where you're going to find most up-to-date information where the course is really sort of happening. So you all already successfully signed up for Google Plus and I've invited you to join the community page. Uh, once you've joined, uh, sign into your Google Plus. Uh, over here in the top left hand corner there'll be a menu. Uh, you want to select communities. 
uh, that should bring you to a page that shows you which communities you're uh, currently following. Uh, ours is video games and literature. So you want to pick that one. And then you'll get a page that looks something like this. Uh, there's not very much here right now, uh, but this will fill up really quickly after we start going. Uh, on the right, you can see a little bit about the community. It's mostly the course description, but there's also a set of links here uh, that you'll find useful that links to the course website, the syllabus, and a schedule. Uh, on the left, uh, there's a list of uh, post types, uh, post categories. First couple are for me, uh, announcements, lectures, prompts, and activities, uh, and the rest are for you uh, when there's a discussion, uh, when you're making your official post, uh, when you might be adding something to the class discussion, like extending it in a new way, or uh, support is for when uh, you have questions about uh, how the course is going or assignments or things like that. Uh, when you're ready to make a post, uh, it's really simple, and I'm hoping that the simplicity of this is its real virtue. Uh, pick whichever kind of post you want to make, uh, probably not events, or maybe uh, you have parties or something, uh, online parties, <laughs> whatever that ends up being. Uh, probably going to use mostly videos, links, photos, but mostly text. Just click right there in the box that says text. Yeah, I'll show you that again. Right there where it says share what's new. Here you write uh, sample text. Well, yours would be actual text. I'm writing sample text. Uh, it's going to force you to select a category. Uh, so pick the one that you think is most appropriate for what we're doing. And I'm, hope, I'm hoping that the categories I selected make that pretty clear which, which one's the right one. Uh, so this one is defies categorization, so we're just going to pick that. Uh, and then share. And that's it. It'll post it right up there. It'll give you a timestamp. It'll put it in the right category. Uh, you'll see if you pick a lecture, nothing's there. But if you pick announcement, now you get all the announcement ones. All posts bring to everything. Uh, when you come here and you see my posts or posts from anybody else, you're able to add comments as well. Uh, so this is how we're generally going to do discussion. And I'll show you that again right here where it says com add comment. And then you add your text. Just like that, very easy. If you screw up, uh, it's very easy to go back and fix things. You can edit stuff by mousing over here you can pick edit you can also delete your comment if you decide you don't like it uh, you can also delete a post if you think it didn't work out uh, but be careful when you do stuff like that uh, I'm, it, this doesn't save backups uh, so when you're doing some longer assignments uh, I really recommend writing them out in your favorite word processor beforehand and then cutting and pasting it into the document or into the, uh, the text box here other than that, it's pretty simple. If you have any questions about how it works, please don't hesitate to ask me. Uh, I'm really hoping that this works out as a, as a easy and intuitive tool to uh, facilitate discussion about the course texts. So now that you know how to make a post, uh, go on over to Google Plus and introduce yourself. Uh, create a new post, uh, put in some text that talks about who you are and uh, why you're taking this course, and uh, submit it and hopefully we'll get to say hi to get to know each other. Also I'm going to go uh, add a new post that is our opening discussion question. Uh, just a way to get us going and set us up for the reading. So when you get a chance uh, to introduce yourself also go on and add some comments about uh, our discussion question. Finally our reading assignment you can find it in uh, the week one folder on Google Drive. Uh, I'm going to get that stuff in there today. Tomorrow I'm going to have a lecture posted that's going to introduce the course a little bit more, how it's designed, how it's set up, and also talk about the reading. Uh, so if you don't start reading until tomorrow, that's fine. If you want to wait until you have seen the video before you start reading, uh, I totally understand that, uh, whichever order makes sense to you. Other than that, thank you. Uh, this is uh, the first video lecture installment for this. If you have any questions, uh, please post them on Google Plus in the support category, uh, or you can just email me if that's easier. Again, thank you for your interest in the course, and I'll see you on the internet.